Oh, I didn't realize I was recording. Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. <laughs> In this video, I'll be talking about joints like this. This is a dove, dove, dove. This is a dove tail joint. Let's scratch to this topic. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of research about wood joint. And I came across this, or you can call it half blind dovetail, but I'm just gonna call it dovetail joint. Um, I modeled this on Fusion 360. I know it's a small piece, but it still works even if it's a bigger piece. So for the past couple of years, right, I've been 3D printing stuff, and sometimes I want to join two pieces together, but I don't want to use screws. I try to make square joint where this one has a square and then this one has the outer shell of the square you put it together and then you just click boom sometimes those joints can be broken easily if you put enough pressure it's gonna break so i found that this is like a good way of doing it because it has been in the wood industry for a long time the piece i print here fits really well just like that and it's perfect right it is super strong you can't really take it apart and it's locked in there so it's really nice I'll show you how I modeled this on Fusion 360 with just very simple steps. At first I was trying to make this, but it seems a little bit difficult, so I just keep doing it and eventually found that it's actually quite simple to do this. But first of all, I would like to say that you need to know your printer's tolerance. I suggest finding a 3D model that is made for tolerance on 3D printers. I use Orca Slicer's tolerance test and I know my cable max tolerance pretty well to be honest. It can go all the way to 0 0.05 but this is a 0.1 millimeter tolerance and if you like these kind of videos about me talking about joints and stuff like that subscribe to this channel because more of these connection things are coming in the future so yeah. Okay now let's jump into Fusion 360 and I'll show you how, how I modeled this part. I'll take it by first before I do that. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about, right? We just look at the picture. It is what I made here. Let's go to Fusion 360 and make this. So let's first start with a sketch. I'm just gonna make a square, 20 by 8 millimeters. It could be however you want. Then I find the midpoint of this. I made a line at 2.5 millimeters to the left. I also do it to the right, 2.5 millimeters. Then I get the middle point of those two. I do a 3 millimeters downward and for each size is 5 millimeters. Now I can just connect these two dots um, right here. And before I extrude this, you want to check. So press D for dimension. You want to check these two dimensions, right? So for this dimension is 50.2. That is good because most 3D printers can do about 40 degrees angle overhang. So that is good enough for me. We can finish the sketch extrude this let's just do 20 millimeter extrusions and now we need to create the top part and the inner part now here is where it gets kind of difficult for me but now i know how to do this pretty easily i make another sketch at the front face of this piece then i select this line this line and this line go to the toolbars click offsets or you can click O for the shortcuts. This window here, I'm gonna do. I know my printer can do 0.5 and that is gonna be a really tight fit. It's gonna fit really good. But just for this purpose, I'm just gonna do 0.1 millimeters. Press enter and we got our offsets right there, which is really nice. So maybe some people might think that, oh, I just gonna connect this, right? And I got this. Nope, you can't do that, but that's not how I do it. What I do is I make the upper parts. Let's say I want to do a square, right? So just do eight millimeters, make a square here. Boom, like that. And now I zoom in, connect this part to this parts. Make sure that the angle is the same as what we see before. Boom, like that, it's a straight line there. Now we can extrude both of this. Let's extrude all the way through and we're gonna be doing new body because we don't want them to join together. And here we go. We got it. We are almost finished. But what I do is to make the part fits better and look more professional. I fill it out the edges right here because sharp corner is bad. Select all the edges here, even the top one right there. So let's say I want to do one millimeters fill it. Oh, nope. That looks way too bad. So 0.5. Uh, that looks okay. So in this case, I'm just going to do a point two millimeters fillet and there we go we got our dovetail connections so we are kind of done but just for 
going the extra mile i'm gonna fill it out all the edges here or all the corners here so that it has a round corner like this one millimeter and look at that just for fun i'm gonna do the whole thing there we go and now we can go ahead and 3d print these two parts out and you will get the results like this it's gonna fit really nicely it's gonna fit really really nicely here and now you can connect two parts with this kind of connections on 3d printing if you actually want it to stuck together let's go ahead and hide this bottom part let's make a sketch again now that we have all the edges round it's a little bit more difficult to work with but it's fine we can just select all these lines right here and I could do an offsets by 0.1 there we go but as you can see here right it's it's weird if we uh, show the other parts if we just make this go up like this it's gonna look really weird so I've been modeling with Fusion 360 for a long time now and I know that you don't fillet things until you are completely done so let's go back <clears throat> let's remove the inner fillet right there and now we will have an easier time to work with less edge and it will be more clean so let's offset this by 0.1 again so that we get the original size back now we can extrude the outer portion right here we can extrude it about three millimeters so that we have this piece right here to be a 0 0.0 millimeters tolerance for the other piece right here as you can see here it's completely filled but for the other side it has a little gap right there now i am happy with this result and i can go ahead and fill it all these corners for the upper part to get a really nice fit into it i'm gonna be chamfered this I'm gonna chamfer this piece right here. Okay, I'm gonna chamfer this by 0.1. I'm gonna chamfer this line, this line, and this other line by 0.1 like this, so that it has a nice kick up and the other piece can fit right into it. Now that we have that, we can go back and fill it all these lines so that it fits more perfectly. 0.2, and boom, there we go. And boom, there we go. We have a complete dovetail joint for 3d printing and if you slide this in it's gonna lock at the end here very nicely i didn't have this for this model because i just thought about this right now <laughs> but anyway yeah that's a bonus for you so that's how you 3d print part like this joining together you if you have two big pieces, you can just join them together and they will never go away if you make it like that well that is it with this video of me showing how i 3D print dovetail joint and how I model it on Fusion 360 and all of the good stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video and as always keep on 3D printing. Now that I'm done recording it's time for me to go back and eat.